this is Mary coming at you from Kind Country Living. Um, I want to share a nice, easy recipe with y'all today on this happy Sunday. Um, it's a crock pot recipe, and it's going to be a cheesy broccoli casserole. And it's really easy. You can do this during the week, or you can do it on a Sunday. So um, here we go. So the first thing you're going to need is one cup of rice. This may be about one and a fourth cup of rice. But um, all you're going to do is take your rice and you have it's pre-cooked. I already have cooked it, but it's one um, cup of cooked rice. And like I say, it's easy to put together. So we're going to start putting this together. And if you have an Instant Pot, you can do your rice in Instant Pot. I made this rice a little earlier today. Um, so um, that's why it's kind of stuck together a little bit. But if you want to like, make your rice like that morning before, um, before you go to work and you can just put this together when you get home because like I said it's a really really easy recipe and then the next ingredient is um, it's a cream of chicken soup one can of um, the cream of chicken soup like I say this is really really easy you put it in your crock pot and you just kind of let it go so put that in there I hope you guys had a good week and have remember to be kind um, as you meet your fellow people in the community, people at work. Um, I have heard a whole, seen a whole bunch of negative stuff on Facebook. So let us continue to just be kind to one another. And then the next thing you're going to need is a 10 ounce bag of broccoli, frozen broccoli, but you let it thaw. Um, let it um, unthaw and then um, I kind of cut mine up. I got a pair of scissors and kind of cut it up because you know those stems are kind of big. And so if you don't like those big stems, um, just kind of cut your broccoli up. And I just got a pair of my cooking scissors and I just kind of cut it up. Um, cut those stems up real small so they don't be as big. I have already cut some of them up, but I see a few more that's a little large. And then the next thing you're going to need is four ounces of, um, it's um, like a cheese whiz. It's the um, processed cheese. So you'll use um, the cheese whiz, four ounces. And you can get an off-brand of cheese whiz. Um, just use what you have. And if you um getting food from the food bank, I think they do like the block cheese. Um, it's like a processed cheese and a block. You can take and melt that down on your stove or in your microwave, add a couple of drops of milk. And this um, goes really well with um, the recipe also. So if you want to substitute, if you're getting food from the food bank, because um, like one of my followers had told me, a lot of people don't know what to do with the things they get from the food bank. So um, that's the way to use some of your cheese. It's just add a couple of drops of milk um, to that um, pasteurized, cheese and um it works it works fine too and um you know just cut some off and that's the way that'll work and also you can use some of your food bank rice um also and i um, also want to cooperate um in um like wick foods you know you can get broccoli um vegetables on wick so you could get like a bag of broccoli so that's the way you use some of your um wick dollars is um get broccoli and this here i'm using is garlic powder and the recipe is what is a fourth of a tablespoon a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder but you know i don't really measure so i'm just going to check um shake some in here because i don't really do a whole bunch of measuring and then i also is a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder so i'm just going to shake on um, some onion powder then a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, and I'll just shake it, I won't measure. A fourth of a tablespoon of salt. And all of these ingredients will be in the description box below. And remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, subscribe, like, or comment. And this is um, celery salt. And um, I, I'm just using about a fourth, but I probably put more than a fourth of a teaspoon because it just came out. But that's okay. It's going to be good anyway. But about a fourth of a teaspoon of um, celery salt. And if you don't have celery salt, and if you have um, like the celery stalks, you can cut that up. And for the wick clients, you can get celery on your wick vouchers. 
Um, if that works, if you don't have celery, um, salt, don't worry about it. You put black pepper and salt and um, the garlic powder. If you don't have that, just put black pepper and salt. It's still going to be good because this cheese is going to make it really, really good. And then you're going to just take and um, put all of this into your um, crock pot. And let me grab my crock pot here. And what I do, I spray my crock pot a little bit with a vegetable oil just so it don't stick. But um, I don't think the recipe I had really calls for that, but that's just the way I do mine. But if you don't have it, you don't worry about it. And if you want to do it and you don't have the cooking spray, just rub a little butter. Just, you know, use what you have. Or if you have... Um, vegetable oil just take a paper towel pull a little vegetable oil and rub it around there but like i said i think it'll be okay without it but that's just the way that i do it and you just put it into your um crock pot and you're gonna let it cook on low for about an hour and a half and so you kind of just put it there and just leave it alone and like i said this is good with um different um, meats. Um, you can do it with chicken, pork chop. And this probably makes about, I guess, eight to 10, 10 servings, depending on how big the servings are. But this is nice and easy to make, um, especially if you got to run back out to a, a ball game or something, just put it on low and it won't burn. And you just stick it back into your crock pot, put it on low, and in an hour and a half, you have a nice little size. So that's all it is to making the crock pot broccoli casserole. Like I said, it's real easy, about four, um, four ingredients, and that's it. And that's, that's a way to learn how to use up some of your um, food bank food. And I'll be um, trying to come up with more recipes to show people how to use that food bank food. And I have a one other little uh, tidbit I want to put in my video this week um, to save money. Um, I go a lot of different places looking for a lot of different things to show people how to save money on their groceries. So I found these broccoli cut at my local Dollar Tree. And it was $1 for a 10 ounce bag. So that's why I kept this bag so I can show you at the local Dollar Tree. So check your local Dollar Tree because they do have good items um, that's really good. But I always check my expiration date at the Dollar Tree. But not, you know, not just at the Dollar Tree. I'm checking when you're at Publix, Kroger's because I have found things at uh, various stores that's out of date, even Walmart. So you have to check um, the expiration date no matter where you are. But just make sure you check the expiration date. I mean, it's fine to get vegetables from the Dollar Tree because I do it all the time. And like I say, this was $1 at the Dollar Tree. So that was, um, you know, very uh, inexpensive um, dish that I just made. And I also want to point out at the Dollar Store, I had never seen these before. Last week when I was in there shopping, my husband liked um, Jimmy, um, Jim Dandy um, grits. So um, they had these for one dollar at the Dollar Tree, and um, it's 16 ounces, so that's one pound, and it was one dollar. And the expiration date is not until June the 27th, 2021. So that was a good buy to get these at the Dollar Tree also. So I'll start, you know, adding th that this little tidbit to my um, video each week, just kind of show y'all how to stretch your food dollars. All right. So that's all I have for you about saving this week. But I, I, I want, you know, I always like to show you how my food looks. So now we'll go ahead and get ready so I can show you how my um, broccoli casserole looks. You know, I always like to plate up the food and show y'all how it looks. So let me get a saucer here. And I'm going to show y'all how. That is, I don't know, that may be too hot to sit there. I don't know. But we're going we're gonna to sit it there anyway. Well, maybe we'll sit on top of this. Okay. All right. So, we're going to show you how this looks. You get me a spoon. Okay. 
So here how it looks, and it's been cooking. Um, this might have been cooking about an hour and 45 minutes, and then I just put it on low. So that's how it looks all um, in my crock pot. All right, and see that cheese is on the top and all that broccoli. And like I said, if you want to add something else to your casserole, you can. Um, Cause sometimes when I make it, I add mushrooms to it. Um, sometimes I use cream of mushroom soup. Um, today I just had cream of chicken, so I use cream of chicken. But um, you can use um, whatever. And like I said, sometimes I um, put mushrooms in it. So, but that's how it looks. And you can see the steam coming from it. And so now I will taste it for you guys. But I know it's good because I make this all the time. Mmm, mmm. Delicious, delicious. It's good, y'all. Good, good. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys this week. And let me know if y'all like the crock pot idea of me doing stuff in the crock pot since it's getting cooler if you like that and want more crock pot recipe drop me a comment below and let me know what you would like to see me do or if you like to see me more doing more um videos on saving just kind of let me know because i want to do stuff that's helping the community um so but that's all i have for you guys today and just always remember it doesn't cost a dime to be kind and you know what i always say bye and I love you.